Hey there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to bring your Adobe Illustrator files into Figma quickly, easily, and without any headaches. If you've ever struggled to get your beautiful vector designs from Illustrator into Figma, maybe for collaboration or prototyping, stick with me. By the end of this video, you'll have a foolproof method for importing any Illustrator file right into your Figma workspace, keeping your graphics sharp and your workflow smooth. All right, let's dive right in. First, you'll want to have your Adobe Illustrator file ready to go. That might sound obvious, but just take a moment to double check that your file contains everything you need, shapes, type, colors, and so forth. If there are any layers or groups you want to keep organized, now's a great time to tidy things up. Imagine you're packing for a trip. It's a lot easier to unpack if everything's already neatly folded. Now with your Illustrator file prepared, head over to Figma. At the bottom center of the Figma interface, you'll see an option labeled Action. If you haven't spotted it before, it's usually represented by a sort of lightning bolt icon. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you can access handy plugins and extra features designed to turbocharge your design process. In the Action menu, you'll want to find the plugin called Convertify. There are lots of plugins out there, but Convertify is specifically designed to help you transform files between different formats, making it perfect for this job. If you don't see it immediately, just type Convertify into the search bar. The search happens instantly, so don't worry if it takes a second to appear. Sometimes Figma can be a little slow if your internet is spotty. Once you've opened Convertify, take a look at the drop-down menu inside the plugin window. You'll see several import options, but for our purposes, you'll want to pick the one that says Import to Figma from Adobe Illustrator. That tells Convertify exactly what kind of file you're working with and where you want it to go, ensuring the translation goes smoothly. Next up, it's time to grab your Illustrator file. Click on the prompt to select a file, then locate your AI file, whether it's on your desktop, a project folder, or tucked away somewhere else. Once you select your file, you'll hit Import. Now just take a breath, because this part might take a few moments, especially if your file is large or packed with lots of artwork. Figma and Convertify are working together behind the scenes to bring all those vectors, colors, and layers straight into your Figma canvas. And that's really all there is to it. You've just successfully imported your Illustrator file into Figma. Your artwork should appear crisp and ready for whatever project you have next, whether that's wireframing, designing a website, or collaborating with your team in real time. Remember, if anything looks off or a layer didn't convert quite right, don't worry. Sometimes minor adjustments are needed after import, but the heavy lifting is all done for you. Thanks for following along. If this tutorial helped you, go ahead and hit that like button. If you run into any issues or have questions about using other file types or plugins in Figma, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you and I'm here to help. And if you want more design tips, tutorials, and workflow hacks, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out. See you in the next video.